Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is Science and Nature. Let's get to it. Question 1. In the animal kingdom, if reptiles belong to class reptilia, then birds belong to class. The answer is... Aves. Birds are not only known for their ability to fly, but also for their unique classification. While reptiles belong to the class Reptilia, birds have their own exclusive class called aves. This distinction highlights the fascinating evolutionary journey that led birds to develop distinct characteristics and behaviors that set them apart from other animals in the animal kingdom. Question 2. In the world of beauty products, this particular ingredient is highly sought after. It originates from sheep's fleece and possesses a distinct odor, resembling a waxy and tar-like substance. What is this essential component found in numerous luxurious cosmetics? The answer is... Lanolin. Lanolin, the essential ingredient in many expensive cosmetics, may seem luxurious, but its origin is rather unexpected. This foul-smelling substance is actually extracted from the fleece of sheep. However, once refined and processed, it becomes a valuable moisturizer and emollient that keeps our skin soft and supple. So next time you apply your fancy face cream, remember to thank those sheep for their contribution. Question 3. What is a corrosive substance with a pH value less than 7 called? The answer is... Acid. Did you know that some acids are so powerful that they can dissolve even the toughest materials? One such acid is fluoroantimonic acid, which is considered the strongest acid in the world. With a pH value of less than zero, it can eat through glass and even react violently with water. Question 4. What type of plague was the Black Death? The answer is... Bubonic. The Black Death, one of history's deadliest pandemics, was caused by the bubonic plague. But did you know that this terrifying disease got its name from the dark purple or black patches that appeared on the skin of its victims? These ominous marks were a result of internal bleeding and necrosis, adding to the horror of this devastating plague. Question 5. What is the heaviest of the naturally occurring noble gases? The answer is... Radon. Radon, the heaviest naturally occurring noble gas, is not only dense but also radioactive. It's a sneaky gas that can seep into homes through cracks in the foundation, posing health risks. So next time you're testing for radon, remember it's not just heavy on the periodic table but also heavy on safety precautions. Question 6. What's the largest artery in the human body? The answer is the aorta. The aorta, the largest artery in the human body, is not only responsible for carrying oxygen-rich blood from the heart to all parts of the body, but it also has an impressive size. If stretched out, it would measure approximately 2.5 centimeters in diameter and around 100,000 kilometers in length. That's long enough to circle the Earth more than twice. So next time you hear someone say follow your heart, just remember that your aorta is leading the way with every beat. Question 7. The blue whale weighs as much as 30 elephants and is as long as three large vehicles. The answer is... Greyhound buses. The blue whale... The largest animal on Earth weighs as much as 30 elephants and is as long as three greyhound buses. Just imagine standing next to this magnificent creature, it's like having a fleet of elephants and a convoy of buses all in one colossal package. Question 8. 
Which bird can fly backwards? The answer is the hummingbird. The hummingbird is not only known for its vibrant colors and tiny size, but also for its incredible flying abilities. Unlike most birds, the hummingbird can fly backwards. This unique skill is made possible by their specialized wing structure and rapid wing beats of up to 80 times per second. Thanks for joining us on this scientific journey. Remember, in the world of trivia, knowledge is power, so keep exploring and let your curiosity be your guide. Farewell. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Goodbye for now, until we meet again tomorrow. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.